Since I started playing Premiere, I haven't met a single obvious cheater in the game, but if you look into the top ranked players in the leaderboard, most are associated with cheaters in some way, and that is bad enough. This could make you wonder if Valve is doing something against it, so let's talk about it right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24-7. You can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars, and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. To answer the question if Valve are doing something against it, the answer is of course yes. But we will never know exactly what they're up to, and it can seem inefficient. Valve are in this strange position where they know that they're playing a cat and mouse game, and it doesn't matter if they improve the anti-cheat or ban people, there's always going to be new cheaters. So from what we've seen over the years, a common trend is them simply causing a little stir in the form of ban waves to clean up some of the most prominent cheaters. And with CS2, it's even more clear now that they're targeting a lot of people in the Premier leaderboard. Almost Almost everyone who was in the leaderboard a week ago are no longer here. Well, almost everyone at least. Now, did this hit everybody who was cheating? Of course not. And I think Valve knows that it's never going to be that effective. They're never going to be able to hit everybody who cheats. I think Valve are interested in, as I said before, hitting the prominent cheaters. But they're also okay with the occasional ban waves because that's what they've been doing all these years. They're essentially trying to level the playing field. Now, outside of leveling the playing field, they've also added some ground rules. Let's start with VAC Live. It was was first discovered by Aquarius in the beginning of 2023 with the string for Cheater Detected and VAC Live. We then got to experience it firsthand after the game's release. It not only banned, but also cancelled the match if it spotted a cheater, which VAC previously did not do. Now it's been a while since we've seen this feature in action, so it's hard to tell what its current status is. There is no clear information on whether it's functioning at the moment or what Valve's plans are for it. The next thing we know is that Valve had originally intended for some kind of anti-cheat announcement together with the promotion of the game because there was missing content prepared for it for the website. This obviously means that Valve changed their plans but were about to drop us with some anti-cheat news. Another thing to bring up is Trust Factor. In CS2, the Trust Factor warnings still appear from what I know, which seems to suggest that the feature is working. I believe, and this is just me guessing again, that the reason why I'm having such a cheat-free experience is because of Trust Factor. Every player I'm up against seems to be accounts with many hours played and lots of friends, so this must be the other dudes that I'm matching with to play against. I will say, however, that I have been accused of cheating multiple times on Premiere. This obviously makes me wonder if a lot of people online are calling others blatant cheaters, but they are actually not cheating. If you want to call someone a blatant cheater, you want them to look like this. Now that's a blatant cheater. Next up is VACnet. VACnet has been around since 2017, and it's basically a deep learning system and an additional anti-cheat measure, which was previously used to analyze human behavior during matches so that we humans could report them in the Overwatch system. And it's unclear how that system works today. Gabe Follower in late 2022 discovered strings focusing on scripted bunny hopping movement and rapid mouse flicks, which seems to be connected to VACnet, and it's pretty safe to assume that it is since John McDonald has tweets implying that VACnet is still being worked on and is still being active. Well, at least until late 2022. So if you ask me, I'm pretty sure that VACnet is still active in some capacity today. Now there's been some false ban waves as well that are worth bringing up. During the first two months of CS2's release, we had actually three significant false ban waves, each triggered by different issues. One was related to Windows 7 and 8.1, another linked to AMD's Anti-Lag Plus, which was a big one, and the third due to Nvidia driver problems. This is actually crazy that all three of these happened in such a short period, and must have been a really bad two months in the office. What's even worse in my opinion are the people who discovered that if you spin around in a match then you could get falsely banned. Pagu, who is one of the people showing how it's done, is still not unbanned. Honestly, it's crazy to me that they still haven't done anything about it, and of course I wouldn't recommend trying to simulate spinbotting right now unless you want to get banned. Having a leaderboard in the first place obviously invites cheaters to the top, and I think Valve underestimated how this would look. It's just bad for the game's reputation, and something has to be done, but it's hard to know what can be done. Now, if you're expecting Valve to write an update about VAC or the anti-cheat systems in the future, then don't. It goes against their sort of policy where revealing what you're working on is just an opportunity for cheaters to find a way to reverse the work. Although what's not entirely impossible is that we get an update or news regarding further steps to improve the matchmaking or premiere experience, but they will likely avoid using buzzwords such as cheating or hacking. Finally, I want to make it clear that this video isn't about taking sides or passing judgment on Valve's anti-cheat measures. I'm just a very curious person 
person and I like to explore these kind of topics. Some of you will think that Valve are just doing the bare minimum. Some of you will see that it doesn't matter how much work they put in, cheaters will always find a way. And if you ask me, I only hope that you focus on things that make you feel better in the end. Peace.